guys what's up we're back at it again with another video welcome or welcome back in today's video we have chanta kyle in the house and if you're ready for today's video keep on watching Mwah. Today's video, you already know the drill. I would love for you to be part of the Steffi Glam R Us fam. So go down below and click the little red button so you can become part of it. So excited for today's video. Well, I'm excited for every video. You know what I mean. The Kyle Cyber Week sale starts today, November the 19th till November 24th. Get 25% off if you enter the code that I'm gonna be linking in my description box down below. You just can't forget to enter the code before you check out or you will be fucked. And I'm telling you this because I'm always excited about the sale and then when it's time for me to pay, whoop, I forget to enter the code. I am gonna be linking all the products that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video. Have in mind that there are affiliated links, so thanks in advance. I am gonna be going through my collection and you guys know that I'm always honest no matter what. So there is a few products that I'm not really a fan of and I am gonna be telling you exactly which ones they are because I don't want you to waste your money. But most of them I really love. And there is some other products that I haven't used before. We're gonna be using them together. We're gonna start with some skincare and here I have the Rose de May Cream. This is a moisturizing cream and it is $215. So if you get this baby on a sale, it's a deal and a half. This is their best selling and it comes in a gel texture which I actually prefer instead of a thick moisturizing cream. If you have oily skin, this, oh, mm. it is infused with botanicals and the world's rarest roses that hydrates the skin, leaving it looking smooth and radiant. And you can actually tell the difference. Of course, my nose, the reaction that I have in the back of my hand from a medication I'm taking, but look how dull and uh, this hand looks compared to this one. Look how glowy this one looks and look how smoothing it is. 85% of this is rose water. Picture how calming and how sensitive this moisturizing cream is. It's definitely a skin loving cream. As soon as you apply it and you blend it, the skin eats it up so fast. Like it's already dry, look. It already absorbed the cream. So we have this Jasmine and Lily Healing Mask. And I'm not even going to be giving you individual prices for each single thing. If you know Chanta Kyle, then you know this is an expensive brand. But if you're not familiar with the brand, it is a luxurious brand and it's very expensive. So that's why it's, you know, a big deal when they be having sales. This is a cooling mask infused with unique botanicals and it soothes and hydrates the skin. This at night calms the skin from the all day stress. I like to use this twice a week on clean skin. I leave it on for 10, 20 minutes and then I rinse it off with look warm water. But if your skin is really dull and dry and you suffer from a lot of redness, I suggest to apply and leave it overnight to increase the results. And this one is the Hibiscus Smoothing Mask. It is a gentle, effective retexturing mask. So this is infused with papaya, grapefruit, and flower acid. Papaya, it's really good for the skin. It moisturizes, it helps with wrinkles, helps with the under eye circles, cleans hyperpigmentation, helps eczema, and treats melasma. Controls breakout, acne, and it removes tension. Yep, this is the pure rose water and this is the most relaxing setting spray that I have. Now, if you don't like roses or you don't like how they smell, stay away from this because that's all you're gonna smell when you spray this on yourself. Mm. I do wish that the spray was a continuous spray instead of I hate that. I don't recommend you this for setting and looking your makeup in, but I really do love to set my skincare with this. It helps tire your skin look young again, and I really do like to refresh my skin after a long day with this setting spray. This is just really, really calming. This cleansing balm takes everything away. Dirt, makeup, sunscreen, oil, everything. The good thing about it is that it takes everything super fast. You don't have to be there, you know, for a hot minute trying to take your makeup off. And besides that, what I love the most is that after it removes everything from the skin, it leaves the skin really smooth and like gentle. You know, most of the cleaning bombs, they be really rough on the skin. Like they be taking the freaking makeup off, but they be leaving your skin 
dry as fuck not this one it's blue like hyaluronic serum this is 150 bucks so it better be good i haven't used it yet but i'm gonna start using it tonight so i can come back and really tell you what i think about it i did hurt it's really good so i'm excited to try it out but it got hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid for the skin is like juice for your foam battery can't live without it it's supposed to refresh hydrate and is gentle enough for all skin types let's see how the texture is looking and this is look at that it's like a really liquory gel damn but this offers immediate long-lasting hydration and visible plumping power that sounds good it's going to shield the skin from the visible effect of the blue light pollution and it does dry it up and it does feel hard like a cold on top of the skin yeah, i was about to tell you guys that this is something you cannot wear under makeup because your makeup is not gonna blend good on top of it i went to the back to read the instructions to see what's up and it does say to use day and night alone under moisturizer we got this ultra sun protection sunscreen and it got spf 45 and it's a primer damn i thought it was gonna be cream look at this it feels like water Look at that. The texture of this product for a primer, it's amazing. This is lightweight, oil free, and matte is fine. Today was the first time I used this, and yo, let me tell you that I'm all the way into it. I love the texture, I love the way it blends in the skin, and the foundation went on top of it. 218, perfection. The Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer SPF 15, I have it on the shade Glow. And let me show you the shade in case you are my same skin complexion. That is the shade Glow. This is an amazing product for men and women. It got a little bit of sun protection, but SPF 15, it's not enough at all. So still go in with your regular sunscreen before you apply this. I do like this, but this is too light coverage. Basically, all this is going to do is going to even out your skin tone. It's going to smooth things out, put your face a little bit together, and that's it. I do have other skin tints from other brands that I do love way more than this one. Now, this one, the Future Skin, this got more coverage this one i really love is the one that i have on me right now 60 percent of this is water so if you have oily skin i really recommend you this foundation because it's an oil-free gel foundation with a refreshing lightweight texture it's medium to full coverage but it doesn't make it to full i will say a nice medium coverage this is just good it got chamomile aloe it got arnica see like my skin right now it looks really natural it's not looking cakey makeupy this luminescent eye shades i got three shades i got the c the crane and the rhino they're perilous and light catching eyeshadows they're more like a wash of color you see how light they are but how reflecting and intense the high shine looks these three are my favorite shades i like to use them together to create this look and i recommend you to use them wet though i don't like to use them dry because dry they barely give me what i like which is this at least let me show you how pretty this swatch this one is zebra mm. this one is rhino nice yummy liquid blushes they're really one of the best liquid blushes out there and they look stunning with powder without powder on bare skin on top of makeup everything i have four shades and i like all of them this is vibrant it is a flirty raspberry and it is a gel texture and it's super lightweight on the skin it gives you a nice subtle glow and it makes the skin look healthy hydrate the skin and they do last they last at the end of the day you're still gonna have a little bit of the stain now i have the philosophy chick shades they're these little blushes and they are lightly and they blend seamless on the skin they come in different shades each shade have like a little you know animal this one is an elephant and this one is a horse i don't know i like them they never really gave me no problem they do look beautiful on the skin they do blend seamless but they really never catch my attention like that like i never use this 
This mascara, it is $73. It is one of the most expensive mascaras out there. And it's way too much money for what it does. Not a fan of this mascara at all. I bought this with the intention that it was going to give me a little bit of length, maybe a little bit of volume, and it doesn't do that at all. It doesn't do anything to my lashes. This is just going to give your lashes a little bit of color. It's going to like stand them up a little bit, but that's it. I don't want you to waste your money in this mascara. It does have some good ingredients and it does help the growth of the lashes, but there's serums for that. We don't need to spend $73 on a mascara that is not going to give you no length and no volume. No, 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 at all. This real bronze, it comes in two shades. I got the shade Goa. It is a cocoa bronze. This is a finely milled gel powder bronzer. And it's just going to give you the most beautiful sun-kissed look. Look at that. Mm -hmm. and look how pretty both of these babies look when you apply them together. The powder bronzer gives the gel the extra warmth that it needs. It's going to give your face a glow with a natural finish. I have this Mermaid Eye Matte. I haven't tried this yet, but it's supposed to be long-lasting velvety matte eyeshadow and i love the little packaging super super cute and this is the shade sylvia the products that i haven't tried is because they sent it to me not so long ago and i was waiting to do like a whole full chance account video and this is supposed to smooth and contour your lid damn the formulation does feels really 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 creamy oh that's pretty it's matte, but at the same time, you see some sheen. So this for mature eyelids, or if you have a lot of little fine lines in your eyelids, it's going to hide them all. And now we have this one that is basically the same thing as the one that I just showed you, but I'm guessing it's not a matte. This one is on the shade Copper. You see how this one is not as shimmery? And you see that shimmer on this one. Let's swatch it. Look at that. Mmm, my God. The combination of those two. Yes, I cannot wait to apply this on my eyelids. I want to get all the shades of this mermaid, whatever eye colors, and then my ones. It's one of the most comfortable red lipsticks. And now for the holidays, you need this look how vibrant this is this is a true red let me swatch it for you right here look at that pigmentation this is a one swipe situation the shade serene serene i don't know how you pronounce that but this is a really creamy lipstick i want to take this off my lids and apply the cream shadows Alrighty, now we're gonna go with the perfect blur finishing powder and this baby right here it's a famous everybody and their mothers love this powder and if you don't love it and if you haven't tried it then you have to this is one of the most blurring powders that you are going to have in your collection it is one of the most prettiest powder it doesn't come in this design no more but they do have it in the flower collection and look at that this on top of your skin the powder it's so so soft and i love this powder for the buffing technique. this is the best powder and this is the best brush for the buffing technique i'm gonna swerp my brush in there and we're gonna buff 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 you're not gonna have no harsh lines this is gonna blend whatever you forgot to blend. Look at this, like this brush does not move my makeup at all. Everything is in place. And then we got this vibrant lip gloss on the shade and the hand. You know why? I don't know why I don't have it on my lips. Hello. I like the applicator and it's really yummy on the lips. It's not sticky. See, I like these little brushes for the edges. Because they just go in so smooth. Like, you don't need no lip liner. Matte Stylo, and I haven't tried this. This is a velvet matte crayon. And it's supposed to be super lightweight. What shade is this? This is on the shade Aster. 
But let's swatch it. Damn, it's super creamy. And look at that pigmentation. Look at that. Ooh, one swipe. Nice. I did heard that this holds well through food and drinks. Let's just apply it right here on the edges of my lips. Damn, I have a lot of pigmentation. Look at that. It's a crayon. It's not a lip liner. So you can apply this all over your lips if you want to. One of my favorites eyeshadow quads from Tom Takayo. It is this one. The butterfly one. This is just so stunning. I love every single shade in here. Fallout. The shades are buildable. And this is the perfect quads for spring you told me if this it's not stunning look at this shade look at that green it's green and pink oh look at the green this green is just something else for real radiant gel bronzer it is a liquid gel bronzer and it's going to exhale any tan it's going to make you look like you just came out of the beach like you have a beach glow you know how the one from huda be giving me the tanning effect this does the same thing but they're two totally different formulations that one is powder this one it's liquid a little bit goes a long way what i apply right here it is way too much i have all that left over that i'm about to waste you see how it looks orangey and scary right here but on the face it doesn't look like that. Like it on top of makeup is what I have on me right now. But I like this more without makeup on bare face. This highlighter, it is the Eklund Brilliant. Bryant. Look how reflecting it is. Stunning. Let me swatch it for you right here. It's super soft. Now for the holidays, this will be a nice gift. It comes with this little gold pouch. So look how pretty it looks. And the HD Loose Perfecting Powder, this is glowy, so I only like to use it for the highest points of my cheeks. See, I like to apply it right here and right here. And on my T-zone. A shimmery, feathery, way loose powder that instantly lights up the skin with a warm, candlelit sheen, non-drying, and ultra-fine perfect for on the go it's not messy it's easy to carry around throw in your purse so now look at all the lip cheeks that i have i'm gonna be swatching them all for you guys so you can peep the shades i know you're not gonna get all this but you are gonna get your favorite shades so in no specific order i really like them all i use them depending on what i'm wearing depending on my eye makeup i like to match them up this one is tamarine then we have Tamboti, which is the perfect nude. Clover. This is Coral Bell. This one is The Mask. And this is a pretty colorful false. They're actually from the fall collection. This one is Honeysuckle. This one is Red Juniper. I love the fact that this is just so lightweight. You don't feel them on the lips. They're gonna give you the shiny lip, but without being glossy. And they just have so much pigmentation. Last but not least, we have Lantana, which is the one that I have on me right now. Look at them, so stunning. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but this is one of my favorite blush and highlighter palette. I'm not sure if I have them single, but I did saw it on like a little gift set. Get the gift set. This is so worthy. This is like a sophisticated blush with a highlighter. You have to make sure you use this highlighter with the right brush because if you use it with the wrong brush, you're not gonna like see it. You're not gonna pick up the highlighter and you're gonna think that the highlighter is just like a piece of shit and it doesn't work. No, it does. It happened to me when I first bought it. I was like, what the heck? This doesn't work. Like, it's not showing up on the skin. And it wasn't this. It was the brush. All right, babe. So, I think I got everything covered. Now, it's your turn to let me know what are you going to be picking up on the sale. Have fun. Don't forget to go down below and snatch that code. You need it for the 25% off. If it's not my code, I'm going to leave you with another Chantacao code that is definitely going to work for the sale. I was trying my code this morning and it wasn't going through, so I hit them up. I'm waiting for them to hit me back. We see what's up. But you got girl, and you better come back and let me know what you got.
Mwah! We are finally done with this video. Thank you again for another great video. I love you all so damn much to the moon and back. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope now you are considering subscribing and staying with me forever and ever. So go down below and click the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on so YouTube can notify you every time I upload new videos. Mwah! See you on the next one.